What's up guys, my name is Justin. Welcome back to the channel today. We are back on iRacing for IMSA Fixed at the Nürburgring. This is going to be my very first start in IMSA Fixed this season, so we'll see how it goes. And we are going to be driving the BMW, uh, the GTP that is, the LMDH, the whatever it's called. I don't even know what it's called, but the BMW LMDH. The reason for that, the Daytona 24 was this past, uh, past week, about three days ago now. Um, and so I've been driving a lot of the Cadillac LMDH. I've probably spent... 15 or 20 hours in that car in the last month or two months so I'm trying to do something different so we'll see how this goes no expectations no idea what we're going to get i don't think we're going to be that fast but half the battle here is just you know living so <laughs> we'll just have to see how it goes um see what comes up and hopefully we can get a good run out of it i'd love to win uh, i've never won in this car or at nurburgring combined actually which kind of surprised me when i found out so i'd love to take both of those off but we'll see how it goes we'll see what our split ends up looking like and we will get ready to race All right. All right. Taking a little while to load the session, actually. I mean, I know it's a Nurburgring, and so we're going to take a little while to load into it, but usually it launches pretty quickly. But it looks like it did split here, so we'll see what our field looks like, see what kind of LMDH competition we have. Probably some fast guys in there. There's a 1500 LMDH. Uh, a lot of GT3s, actually, which is could be good or bad, not sure. Uh, we're at 1136 currently. Hopefully we can outpace some of them. It looks like they're only about seven or eight. Let's see, one, two, three, four. If I could keep scrolling up, please, that would be great. Five, now oh, come on, six. Are there like seven LMDHs? Eight, eight maybe? Eight LMDHs? Eight, nine? It'll be good. All right. Again, gonna take a little bit to load into this. I'm hoping we can we can be okay. We'll see again if it's good or not. I have no idea what our pace is gonna be like. Survival is gonna be the name of the game, but we'll try to be fast. I did bin it uh, at the um, at the carousel on my qualifying lap. So we do not have a qualifying lap for this like we had in Solstice yesterday. Um, still plan to run our Solstice yet this week. Might get out this week. Might not. We'll see. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to do. I've, I've run plenty of laps here. I just can't put a lap together without picking up an incident for whatever reason. So we don't have a queue lap, which which sucks. But again, I, I don't know how relevant that's going to be in a field of like eight for this or whatever. So we'll see. Again, I'd like to just win this one straight up. That would be cool. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. So still loading in. Good grief. Come on now. Yikes. Long lag. It's the, you know, big track, a lot of scenery, whatever. But come on. Nerbs combined, full circuit. You got the full GP circuit. The not-so-evil chicane, though, so that's good. The uh, evil chicane is the really tight one, which would suck in this series and in this car specifically. So we don't have to deal with that, thank goodness. Still loading in. Come on, game. Uh, it's going to be about five laps, I think, here. It's a timed race, but it works out to five laps, which will be roughly 40 minutes probably with the pit stop. So we'll need a pit stop at some point. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm the fifth LMDH, it looks like. Out of seven. <laughs> so, we'll see. At the worst, we're going to be starting fifth. It looks like we are starting fifth, so maybe nobody has any, uh, Q laps that were put down, so. We'll get out, see what we can do. Don't need to be too terribly aggressive, but obviously we want to run well and go forward, so. That's the goal. Be smart and smooth, see if we can get something out of this. Again, I have a couple laps here, so I'm not overly concerned about that. It's more of the mistakes than anything else, so... Obviously, our pit strategy is going to be a thing. I have to be mindful of that, be careful of that here as we go. I expect a lot of the field to be able to get around here and make decent laps, but we'll see what kind of pace people have. 
don't know what kind of pace I have, to be honest with you, so. This car is very, very obviously rear end happy, especially on cold tires, which you kind of expect to get used to in a certain car, and I'm used to it in the Cadillac. I'm just not used to it in this car yet, even though they're, in theory, similar or the same, so. Just have to be extra careful with that the first lap or so here. After that, we should have some nice tire heat. We will have to make a pit stop probably at the end of lap three, I would assume. We'll see, though. Probably going to be a lot of incidents and spins and stuff for traffic. But I don't think we'll catch any traffic straight up, as far as I know, so. Just have to wait and see. Go by that Porsche there. Again, or we can get into the track here on our kind of test lap, out lap here, the better. Let's see what we're going to be expecting here on cold tires. So. Like to get some track position to be able to chase the cars ahead. Again, who knows how fast everybody's going to be, so we'll just have to be patient with that, be careful. We won't have to deal with any GT traffic, obviously, on the start, so that goes out the window here. careful and be patient for them. We're not going to go plowing through here or anything. Not going anywhere, so. So we get to left to this next corner here, get a nice run. Nice of them to give us a lane, thank you. Seventh gear, obviously this car absolutely flies around here like it does pretty much everywhere. Pretty insane here how much ground you can cover. Super fast lap, just probably around seven and a half minutes or less if you nail a good lap here in this car, which is insane for the combined Nürburgring. Probably only like F1 cars are rivaling that at other than top level prototypes. So it's pretty insane. Sense of speed's incredible here. So very easy to make mistakes. We just gotta avoid them, not lose time is gonna be the key. See what everybody else's pace is. So. Oh, and off there on the right. BMW shuts it down before a bad rejoin. Thank you. A lot of these corners you used to take in a certain pace in the solstice and you just have to back it down for this because the car just has a different feel entirely so it is a little bit a uh, little bit concerning that kind of dialed in brain wise to that now we're driving something completely different with completely different inputs and turn in points and brake points and everything else so it's actually what keeps catching me out at the carousel a little bit of a rear tire lock up and slide there we're good again safety not dying is the name of the game I think we could have decent speed. It's just five laps around here in a car this fast is all about safety. So Time just about up. We may or may not get up through this next corner. Hopefully we can get a good start here, get a couple spots hey, Jeff, perhaps. Just for next time, you don't have to move over for us. It's our job to get around here. Uh, yeah, I know, man. All good. Appreciate that. I just I knew it was almost over. I was going to let you go and slow down. Yeah, yeah, just don't do that, because I, I likely would have rear-ended you if we were in the race. All right, here we go. We are ready. Okay. Starting fifth. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Obviously, need a pit stop. Not going to get any okay. tires for the pit stop, though. Just feeling a tear off. No idea how much fuel we even need, but we'll call it good. See when we want to pit. Not sure if we want to pit on two or three. I don't think it really matters too much. We'll see how we're doing with traffic and stuff, though. Didn't practice a pit entry or anything at all, so we'll see how this goes. Good luck, everybody. All right, we're ready. Looks like most of our GTPs are gridded up. Who's the sixth one? Kevin Peak. Not sure where he's at. Peak, are you going to do a uh, little gap? All right. Yeah, I'm going to separate. 
We are ready. 35 minutes, five laps. Should be again roughly 40 We're ready minutes. to do this, uh, this weekend for two hours and 40 minutes. All right, we're ready. No sixth place starter from the GTPs, and they'll be directly next to me here. Do have Javier behind us. Again, we'll just be exactly careful. Exactly my here. first race in the thick setup. just locked up right there. That was funky looking. Not sure what that was about. Alright. We should be able to get through here without too much issue. Five laps. I hope I don't make any mistakes. That would be silly mistakes. Hopefully we can avoid that and get a good result out of this. Not sure if that's going to be the case or not. It's like Javier is going to try to pass me there. Hopefully again with just uh, whatever seven of us here we can get through this and have a shot hopefully we can keep up with whoever the leader the fast guy ends up being hopefully we'll see it looks like the first uh, gtps might be about 1500 ironing or so so we are ready looks like a lot of cadillacs understandable it's the best sounding car maybe on the whole sim so uh, looks like a porsche up front three cadillacs my bmw <laughs> which probably isn't the popular choice and porsche behind me and then whoever the sixth guy is here may not even be on pit road so i'm not sure if he didn't connect or what but anyways thanks for coming make sure you drop a like and a sub down below uh my first imps to fix of the season let's get ready to go let's get it all right we're playing start games there that was all very interesting but we made it Still alive. Still alive is the key. Fucking shit, I'm so sorry, dude. I fucking dipped my wheel. one wheel in the fucking grass. Still hang on to the leaders here, though, so that's a good start. Wow. I'm so sorry. Still I okay. literally have no clue. There goes my eye rating. Yeah, I'm so sorry, dude. I'm literally so sorry. Are you able to race? More than... I now know I'm dead. Still on top of these guys. Still a nice tight pack. Optimistic move there in a non-passing zone. Pick up a 1x, I guess, there. Car behind spins out there. I think I surprised him with my braking. I was just trying not to run over the guy ahead. Still okay, though. Where's the yellow at? Yeah, I push so hard, but it's so scary. So scary. So many ways that this can go wrong here. Still in it. Still cruising. There's a pass attempt up here. Why? Oh, they're going to 
crash. I just want to run at least one race without getting smashed by somebody else. Alright, well, that's cool. He's betting! Here at the lead there. That was interesting, for sure. Big mistakes. Sure if both their cars are okay or not. Still alive. I think that the cars that crashed there are going to be hurt, so. Gotta run away and not make any mistakes here. See if Guillermo's car is okay or not. What a crazy first half of a lap, though. What a mess. I knew it would be it's such a scary car track combo, but luckily we got away. See if we can stay focused, stay on track, survive. directly behind us to pressure us, so don't have to worry about that. A little bit of a lockup there, but we're still good. Still just that one X, looks like Colin had the toe, unfortunately. So that's one down. All right, leads up 10 seconds again. Don't know how damaged Guillermo's car is or anything. Philip, can I pass you? All right. Thank you. Still doing okay. Still rocking. Let them go battle. <laughs> so Phillips, I don't want to hit you. Let me pass you. So tricky to get through this here. No Alright, come on, Justin. Let's not screw this up. Okay. Definitely getting rear wheel spin off there. I know I gave up time. I just wanted to survive. So there might have been a slide or a spin behind somewhere. Again, this car, you can't really use these curbs. You can use them a little bit. You just got to be so careful. some of the higher gears there, just try to survive for a little bit. Still good. Still doing okay. Still rocking, surviving. Happy with it. Oh, it's so scary, so sketchy. Truly love this track, and I love this GTP class. I've just been out of the BMW so long, preferring the Cadillac that I'm having to basically relearn on the fly here which is pretty scary at a place like this i know i had that one x but this is basically going to be a clean lap if i can finish it off which i have not run yet here so granted i've only done a couple of test laps but i'd like to finish this lap off get a clean one in the books gonna be one down four to go there we go spread it through there a little bit produces so much aero grip and everything. All right, just a couple uh, end, of, end of lap corners here, and then we'll be on the lap two with four to go. Great start. Happy with the start. This way to the back, sir. Right. Whew, this is... Uh, or fucking not. How about that, dumbass? I think it's junked Dude, each other for third. Great. I mean, I'm sorry for hitting the road right in the middle of me. I couldn't even comprehend what you said to me. Wait until the fucking straight, and you just had to fuck so through me. So the cars that start at the back. Did you take my fucking rear wing off? Our first I and fucking second. hope so, you did. I fucking hope so, you did. 
All right. Maybe next time Slap you have a break and put us in a really poopy No mistakes. So I don't 44 give a, is really slow. I don't give a shit what you think. I said, wait till the straight and I'll let you buy, and you just fucking rear ended me. A little bit of lock up there on turn one entry. Shit. People are mad at each other, understandable. Track induces some anger, understand that. Just under a 21 second lead. One disconnection there, 40 seconds back to third for Alex. Hopefully everybody's car is still okay after that first lap. A couple of incidents there. Again, we do still need a pit stop here at some point, so keep that in mind. Guillermo had the pit there, or toe or something to fix damage. See if we can get the chicane a little better this time. We have no traffic. Another thing that will help is the GT leaders have now passed a couple of those cars that had the pit, so that will hold them up. Even if they're fast, they'll have to come through the GT cars, which will take time around here for sure. So that's really down to three cars in contention. Happy with the start, happy with the first lap. Got through the GP section a little bit better that time. Again, I don't know what's actually reasonably fast or expected, but I know the super fast guys are at like 7.15, so... We aren't going to be anywhere near that unless I absolutely get a perfect lap here and really line one up, but... I'd like to think we can run around about 7.30 maybe if I get a perfect lap, so we'll see here at the end of this one. This will be the one. A nice tire heat. Obviously, at the end of the next lap, we'll have to pit, so... There we go. Fred through there very nicely, indeed. 28 seconds yeah, to get now. Up here, just starting to fall back ever so slightly, as is Alex, actually. Again, just run about 90%. We're running a little bit conservative here, not to mess it up or do anything silly, but still got to keep the pressure on. Got to keep pushing at least a little bit. Looks like Alex has had another spin there. And the reason you got to keep pushing is because even if you do have a little spin, then you have some recovery room and stuff. So obviously the goal is not to do that, not to damage the car, but it seems like we have the pace on the long run. We just got to keep it together. And the best way to do that is actually to push. Usually when you Start trying to be too conservative in the race cars when you start making mistakes because you're out of rhythms. So we'll keep pushing along here at 90 or 95 percent. Still cruising along, still happy with it. Feel comfortable, feel good. miss which is usually more like miss 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 for me a little bit of rear lockup again there over a transition got to be very very careful that's so easy to slide the rear tires get the rear to step out and die and there's a wall very close there so you don't want to do that obviously never want to do that but you know what I mean I would consider taking tires here but I don't think we'll get enough fuel for that to make sense so skip those hot tires out and just maybe it. Absolutely worst place to pass. The back look pots really with no rear wing. We're really gonna do that. No rear wing. No rear Ah come on, fluke plots is better than the kink. <laughs> Thirty five seconds is the gap now, fifty eight back to Alex. Bit 40 back to the GTs. Alright. Kevin, you do have a mic? 
Spider-Man two. Karma looks like he's at least out still running, so that's good. Good track. I do love this track. It's just one of those things, one of those tracks and cars where it's just super tricky. Hard to get right. There we go. Thread through here. That's what we're looking for. Nice, easy turn in there. Sweet. Should be a little bit better lap. Again, just a little bit of a confidence lift up some of these corners just to make sure the nose gets in like I think it will. You're just going so fast you can afford to give up a little bit of time to be safe. Shot that, but we made it through just fine. Carry the speed on the back stretch again. A couple more corners, we'll be two laps in, three to go with a pit stop, obviously. We'll be able to afford to go around once more. All the way at the top of top gear, just still the 1x, so a clean lap here. Happy with that. 49 seconds is the gap now. These two LMPs or GTPs that are still alive behind us. GT's two minutes back. Alright, see what this lap ends up being. Pit next time. Obviously, make sure we don't speed or do anything silly. Looks like Alex might have had another spin. 740 there. if I run an absolutely perfect lap. But no pressure right now. Down to just three GTPs left alive. Alex might have just had another spin, so... Lead is decent. Cruising. Get ready for a pit stop here. Probably going to overfuel it. Looks like Alex had the tow as well. Maybe just two of us left, honestly. Alex is gone, so yep, just me and... Uh, was it Javier? So... Uh, incidents and toes there. Hopefully Javier can keep going. He's having a good race so far in second place. Good for him. Javier is indeed still going 49 seconds back, so we gained about 27, 28 seconds, somewhere in that range that last lap. It's around, around 8 minutes, 8.05, but still alive, still surviving, hadn't made any big mistakes, so good on him. Threading it through here. Such a fun track, and honestly, I'm becoming comfortable with the car. And it, it's a lot of fun here. It's just absolutely terrifying and nerve wracking to be this on edge for the whole way around the nerve ring. It's pretty insane. Mad respect for the people that drive actual fast cars around here. It's pretty bonkers. I'd love to drive around here, or at least get a ride around here someday. I'm not sure I'd drive around here, but. Get a ride in one of the Nurburgring taxis would be pretty cool. I, mean, I would like to drive a lap, but it would not be at any kind of pace for sure. That's absolutely terrifying, but I would like to drive around here someday. Maybe when Ryan and I go to Germany, we'll put this on the bucket list. There we go, thread through there super nicely, nice and smooth. Yes, we can. 
10 gallons of fuel, I guess that's plenty, so. Probably definitely overkill, but it's not full, so that's something. Still cruising GT leader 218 back. Obviously, it's just Javier and I left at this point in contention, so. He's still in 54 seconds back, so we still can't make any mistakes, but doing okay for now. I love this. This is enjoyable. I would absolutely do this again. I'd like to do it in the Cadillac so it's a car I enjoy and know a little bit better, but who knows? Maybe we'll do another one. It's pretty fun. Pretty damn fun. here. Nice and smooth in there. Get through it nice and easy. Perfect. be a little bit slower here this lap. You can see on the lap predictor on the dash, we're about two seconds off, but it's plenty fine. Again, not only are we going to be pit, but I'm not concerned. It's still decent pace, so. Finally, unlike the Solstice, a car that can get up this hill with some pace. Love it. Very exciting. Very exciting. Now we survived the carousel again, which is always good. Good marker for our success. Obviously, if we die in the carousel, we would not be having success. Enjoyed this car and it's pretty good sounding. Again, it's no Cadillac by any means, but it's a decent sounding car. Again, I think that's part of the reason that uh, I'm adverse to this car, even though it, it's fun to drive and it sounds okay and drives pretty well. It's, it's not as twitchy as the Acura, but it's more towards the Acura than the Caddy and the Porsche. I think uh, this car, compared to the Porsche at least, it, it, it feels like it's, it's light. Uh, the Porsche and the Cadillac, although they're not you know, heavy, you're very different than this. They feel heavier. I think it's just a driving technique, dynamic thing. So, but I do like this car. It was not that competitive at the beginning of the year in real life, but they got lucky, had some good results, uh, got their reliability sorted out, and they end up at least in contention for the championship. I think they probably finished third with Carney Felipe this past year, but uh, I don't remember exactly how Petit took out for them. But. All right, got to come in, make our pit stop. Can't forget that. That'd be an absolute disaster. 9.9 .9 gallons. I did just go for another gear there for no reason. Will be two laps, two to go. We have a one minute, 12 second lead over Javier. No other LMVH is on our lap, it doesn't appear, at least not within half a lap of us. So. Coming to the pits here.
Hiccup skip. Here we go. Getting nice and conservative, no reason to blow this. Or go ahead and blow it, Justin. Almost too fast entering, slowed way down to make sure we were under the threshold there. A lot of broken and torn up GT3s that had the to toe there. There's our dude. Guillermo still looks like he's in P3, so. Quick splash of fuel. That car's very broken. Wow. All right. So, yeah, there's only like three left. <laughs> Two laps to go. There we go. We are released. Got it. ¿Cuánta vuelta queda, Javier? Una más, DJ, una más. Bueno, creo que no, no sé, ahorita los pases te digo. Vale, vale, aunque sea para pa no perder tanto y soy tercero, no sé por qué no queda nadie. We are cruising, baby. Like Javier just got to pit road to start his stop. Again, gonna need 15 to 20 seconds worth of fuel, but we're already well gone in a way, so. We're all good. Looks like Javier has made it to his pit box. Let's see where he ends up. He was about a minute and 13 behind when I hit pit road. Let's see where he comes back out. Pit stop. are in a great spot yes sir it's been a really fun race i hope it's enjoyable for y'all again i know this imsa fixed uh, can be an interesting series people don't know how exactly they feel about imsa so popular in the series not quite as much because all the imsa diehards run open sets so but still a good series could be something that i run more often just to get uh, shorter ish videos out in different cars so we'll see obvious comes out about 10 seconds further back than he was so Decent pit stop there, about a minute 24 is the gap, or roughly the length of the GP circuit. Don't mind, don't mind. Gracias. Morris, your uh, wing is pretty bad. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> for it. We we're all good. A little bit of a confidence lift there. Missed my turning point ever so slightly. Yeah, Pat, can you see Probably behind catch a couple of these behind you. Um, GT cars, damage. although they may or may not have to pit. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, you're a little bit far. I'll check though. Get closer. Yeah, I'm boxing anyway this lap. Thank you though. Cool. Yeah, me too, man. Appreciate that. Thirty now in the gap back to Javier. I will about like four to five degrees in one direction. Anybody still have zero X? Yeah, Scott, can you see the front of my car? How bad is that? It's not too bad. A little dent. Got it, thank you. Just overshot to ever so slightly, which is pretty dumb considering the lead we have right now. 
We survived, thankfully. Let's not uh, not keep doing that for all five laps would be the goal. We've done it every single lap, so. I guess we can check tires on this next uphill bit and see what our tire where it was like over three laps there. Nice pit, dog man. It's crazy. We just feel like they're just starting to go away, but we're still alright. Oh yeah, 91, 92 is pretty good. The front tire is starting to go off a little bit as well. Still good. I don't know what you're doing there, Dale. Lap and a half to go, just over. All right. Just got to stay focused, stay persistent here. Done all the hard work. We just got to bring this one home, so. Well, about all I can do is cruise for safety rating, so. Should get yeah, a nice having a bad week here. IR and SR gain out of this, actually. With just the one X, if we can keep it at one. That'll be good. Yeah, I've been having like the, the worst five car us seven, which like probably gain magnet. sixty or seventy I ring, that'd be nice. Javier will probably gain more than that, where he was at eight hundred something I believe, so I think it's because I've been racing the GTE for the last three weeks. Handles a little bit differently. Yeah, I don't have that excuse. It's literally GT4, touring, GT3. Somebody's always smashing into me. Mostly getting rear-ended. Should try the uh, GTE. Nobody's ever on when I want to race. It's always like one or two drivers. It's like since it went to B class, it's now a dead series. You get a good participation on uh, the weeknights on the East Coast, like 10 p.m. EST. All right. On to the straightaway once again. Ryan Gleason said, nope, done. <laughs> Alright, coming back to the white flag, final lap. Clicking along quite nicely. But about 31, going to be 32 minutes, so we'll be about 5 minutes over our time. About 40 minutes. Excuse me, again, hiccups. We're talking too much again. Man, kill him. Like Monday, so, Tuesday, again, be and about Wednesday 40 nights is uh, a really good night time. for where I live. A little bit longer than usually. Thursday, fixed, Friday, and uh, Saturday are all the weekend warrior trash drivers. White flag for the one bank. Final lap here at Nordschleife. Let's see if we can get one more good lap in. Go ahead, Chris. One more nice zero X smooth lap would be awesome. Again, as usual here, we will not wait for the full results. Uh, not worth the time, so. Let's buy on the straight, Paul. So I will know the results, but unfortunately you will not. Let's see what tomorrow's video ends up being, that when you're seeing this, I will be recording tonight, and hoping it'll be late model at Five Flags. I'm off on the new late model, but I gotta race it, otherwise I'm not gonna get any better, so. We'll give it a try. I want to fix the end open this week at some point, but probably be fixed that I record just for time's sake and obviously no caution. It's not going to be too boring, I hope. We'll see if that comes to fruition or not. Maybe it'll be another solstice video. We'll see how the night gets, uh, goes for recordings. So. Maybe it'll be open. Who knows? 
Anyways, just coming to the end of the GP lap here. Let's see if we can push it just a little bit harder here and see if we can win by two minutes. We've only got to make up 16 or 17 seconds. Javier just coming up to the end of the Nordschleife start of the GP lap here, so we might even see him across the way here. You're right over there. <laughs> Wave at Javier. He's going down the main straight right now, probably. We are on to the Nordschleife. Thank you. Finish this one off. And no drama, no need to push too terribly hard here. We have this well in hand. We've done all the hard work, we've done our jobs. Ran a really smooth, smart race. We've gotten through the traffic. A lot of it got out of its own way through incidents and stuff, but I think that we had good pace anyways. Could match the guys that were around us in the front of us, so. Feel good about that, but obviously the less hard we have to work, the less we have to push, the safer we can be, so that's been good. There we go, carry great speed up through there. Still on for a decent lap, you know, 742, 745, somewhere in that range. One final time in this race at least, past the Rebel Tree. Hello, goodbye. not locked the rear tires into here this time, going very, very conservative. We locked the rear tires anyways, but at least we were going slow enough to over the crest that we didn't slide them, so we didn't die. Good. <laughs> That's the smoothest we've gotten through this whole race. Again, definitely losing some tire grip and tire wear at this point, but we're still good. Uh, don't do that, Doug. Still alive. Looks like we still got drama in the GT field. Yeah, what the Y'all come for. Keeps fucking with my head. Sorry, different dog. <laughs> yeah, I got a little bit of the grass there. <laughs> yeah, so it's good for you, man. My, my wheel is like pretty much sideways. Just got about then seven then seconds. Imagine making passes when your wheel's sideways like that, being like, "Yep, I got to run." So I took it. My wheel is at Depend 45 on degrees. That's weird. crazy. That's insane. <laughs> I would just be backing off, chilling, coasting to the end of this puppy. But anyways, I digress. Only about six and a bit seconds now to get to our two-minute win goal. If we can finish out this last half a lap we got coming up here, just about to get through the carousel. Not dying through there is a good start. That's key. Almost overshot it there, but we're still okay. All right. Lost some time through there as I knew we would. Shouldn't catch Arthur up ahead here in these last handful of corners. 40 seconds is plenty far enough away for him if he doesn't make any mistakes or spin. 
Only got about four break zones left here, so. That's my back up at the rear. A little bit of frame stuttering we're getting there. Oh, you're back right the middle of Still up. good. Thank you. Still alive. Second carousel. Only like two more major brake zones here. Okay, good momentum through there. Awesome. Gonna be close to our two minute gap. I have to just wait for him to finish and see if we end up with that two minute gap. We probably will. We get through this last uh, section here well. Great race, everybody. That was a total blast. All right. Channels to be again tomorrow video when you're seeing this. So fresh off the presses for this vid. Oh, I guess it's going to finish in third, a lap down to just two GTPs on lead lap. Get yeah, stopped for the final chicane. Off the last corner towards the start finish line, give a headlight flash as we get all sorts of frame stutters. We will come through to take an IMSA fixed victory, my first. We've won IMSA in the Cadillac, now we've won IMSA fixed in the BMW, so. Also my first win at Nurburgring combined, so pretty happy with that. Great drive, great performance, picked up that 1x on the chicane the first time through the uh, GP circuit, and then we went basically four and three quarters laps with no incidents, so. Super happy. We'll see what our margin ends up being here over the Javier. Again, August is going to come third, a lap down. Half the field ended up getting lapped, it looks like. Colin died that first lap. Alex died the second lap. Guillermo and August kept going after their incidents. So. Hey, what happened? We are clicking along quite oh, nicely. Very happy with it. I didn't, very, I didn't touch very you, did happy I? with that race. Touch, touch the grass a little bit too much. All right. Whew, that was a lot, of, a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun. That was uh, well worth the effort, well worth the time. I don't think I touched you, did I? Yeah, we'll see here. A couple more corners for the no, portion no, of Javier. We did start behind us. We saw there on the first, uh, first rolling lap. Was able to survive, see what kind of pace he has here. Obviously, we won't wait to see uh, the results and everything. I just want to see where our margin of victory ends up being here as he comes up to the finish line. Could be you recover just from over that wall? Minutes. Very happy with it. Going to be about like four and a half or five minutes back to the GT cars. We'll see uh, what that exactly looks like, but you won't. I will, at least. Looks like Tyler may come through and pick up a victory there. And a little luck from Paul not hitting me. I didn't remember to check if anybody had that. Q laps that started. I assume not, but uh, I didn't pay attention to that, actually. So Here comes Javier up to the finish line, down the long straight, flying along there nicely. It takes about a quarter of the time, it seems like. From what the solstice Wait, takes, even though it's really just about half the time. So, dale, dale, dale. here's Javier now coming to the final brake zone. Nice and chill, nice and smooth. Much more aggressive on his brakes. Gracias. Very dale, good dale. job getting that mode up and through the final section. Comes through to the start finish line. He will take a well deserved P2. Great job from Javier to survive, get through all that, not make any mistakes. Final margin ends up being 2 minutes and 16 seconds. So. Again, we won't sit through and wait for everybody to finish. That'll take an extra, like, eight minutes. So. All right, through to there. Uh, we, again, we'll not wait for the results or anything, but that's going to be it. Make sure you drop a like and a sub down below. Don't wait miss any action from iRacing, New Speed Hop Pursuit 2, Nesca, Dirt Daytona, uh, Camaro content, anything else I may post. I appreciate all the love and support. Super cool to get a win this BMW. Such a fun, awesome car to get to go racing with, and uh, glad we were able to survive all the chaos and get through and have some good pace and pick up a win. So... Make sure you drop a like for that. Always good to drop a like for the Nurburgring. Such a good track. Uh, we'll see what else we can get recorded this week. Like I said, plan to do a late mile, either fixed or open tomorrow night. Probably another solstice. We're going to record Global Challenge. At least Alex and I will at Watkins on Friday. Might even be a third solstice on the channel next week. And then uh, uh, another Ringmeister. I think it might be the Radical next week. So got a couple of videos yet. Next week might be a, a slower week a little bit just because of the recording schedule and my schedule and what's on the schedule for me to race. So we'll see how that works. But anyways, that's going to be it. Till next time, bye-bye. Right,